I'm at Callaway Applications Engineer at Mana Machine. Uh, today I'm going to show you a feature within Revit. It's been here for quite a while, but it's very underused, called Design Options. Design Options allow you to have multiple designs in the same space, in the same model, at the same time. So let's show you what we're on about here. So if I go to the Manage tab on the ribbon bar, we have this group here called Design Options. Most of it's greyed out, but we can access this button here called Design Options. It gives you this window. And what we can do is we can create a new option set. So that could be split down for any particular purpose. In this case, we're going to be looking at the kitchen in this model. So just to give it a good sensible name, I'm going to add a new option set. Um, and we're going to call that option set kitchen. Like so. Okay. And for the kitchen, we can create multiple options. By default, one's always created, but I'm going to add a second option into there. So we've got option one and we've got option two. Again, you can rename these. One of these options is always the primary, and I'll explain that in a second. So let's just go ahead and I'll show you how design options work. So when we're modeling within Revit, we're always modeling in the main model. But what happens when you create design options is we can change from the main model to one of our options. I switch to option one, the main model's grayed out, but I can still place components in this model. Okay, and if I just go to the architecture tab and to components, we're gonna place some dining tables. There we go, table dining. And out of the two possible options for this space, maybe for the first design, I'm going to put two tables like so. And then what I can do is if I go back to the Manage tab, if I just go to Main Model, you can see those, those two tables there. I can't select them though because they're not part of the main model, they're part of an option. So I can see them, but I can't interact with them. If I go to Option 2, you can see those tables have disappeared. That's because we no, can no longer see option one. Uh, the reason we could see those tables before in the main model is because option one is our primary option. So that's the one that will display in the main model. Okay, If you don't want anything to display, you, you only want your options to display when you, you purposely select those options, just simply create a blank option. Okay, Now for option two, I'm going to place the same two tables, but just in a slightly different configuration. So maybe we'll rotate them around. Um, and we'll put them like so, okay? And if I just go back to the Manage tab, back to the main model, again, we can see option one because it's our, our primary option. If I select option two and make that our primary, that's the one we're gonna see in the main model. So we've kind of got two designs at the same time in the same space in the same model. Very useful if you want to give your client options or you're not sure which way you're gonna go just yet, okay? Just to show you as well before I do the next little bit, once you're happy with whichever option it is you want, you want to go with, um, you can select that option, make it primary, okay? And then we can accept the primary. So select the option set, and you can accept primary. Now just be careful, because that will delete all your other options, okay? Um, and it will move everything in the primary option into the main model. So be certain that you want to do that. Um, if you think you might possibly want to access the other options in the future, just make it your primary and just don't accept it, okay? But we might want to have these two options side by side on a sheet to propose to a client, for example, okay? So if I just, uh, let's select a few of these components. So I'm just gonna select that, select this column here, maybe select this kitchen counter, and we'll make a nice little uh, 3D section box um, around this space here. Um, I'm just gonna, um, let's have a look. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, hide some of these components that are in the way. So let's let's uh, hide them for starters, and we'll hide the roof and the ceiling there. Might be in the floor on the floor above actually, but there we go. Okay, I'm not going to go around and, and make it perfect, but we can see our, our kitchen there. Okay, maybe I'll just remove the windows that are in, are in front of it as well. Okay, so we've got something that's looking a bit, a bit more um, professional. 
Okay. So I'm going to save this as a as a 3D view. So let's go file, uh, not file view cube, save view, and let's call it kitchen uh, option one. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another view and I'm going to call it kitchen option two. Okay, let's just duplicate that one. Duplicate, and we'll rename that one. Option two. Now at the moment, we can just see the primary option in both views. But what I can do in the visibility graphics over is if you've got design options, you get this new tab here. You can see the option set, and you can choose whether it just displays whatever happens to the primary or whether you want it to display a specific option. Okay, and I'll do the same with the second view. Okay, again to that design options tab. That one's options two. I've now got two views, one that shows option one, one that shows option two. I can go ahead and create a sheet. Okay, let's just go for a blank sheet for this example. And then I can just simply drag and drop these onto the sheet side by side and that's how you can have multiple options in Revit. Thank you for watching.